What's up guys, welcome back to another Dokkan Battle video. So, as promised, today we are going to be doing a full comprehensive guide on how to farm Awaken and Rainbow, the Prime Battle Fizz LR Krillin. As you guys know, the Legendary Challenge campaign for this unit is going to be dropping on Global in a couple days, so I felt like a video like this would be extra relevant and also extra helpful to some of you out there. So if you're one of those people that still haven't gotten your LR Krillin done yet, then make sure to keep watching. Now, random side note, I'm not sure if you guys can tell, but your boy has been going through it recently, man, with the seasonal allergies. Like, my eyes are just super, super itchy right now. Uh, my nose is stuffed. I've been sneezing all day. It's been, it's been pretty rough. I'm not gonna lie. But you know what? It's all good. We're gonna get through this. And with all that said, let's pop over to the Prime Battle uh, event here. Obviously, this is where you're going to be doing the majority of your grinding. Uh, there are three different stages we'll get to in a second, but let's start with the increased drop category. So right now, at the time of filming, this event actually does not have a boost category, but once the Legendary Challenge campaign begins, they'll add one, and that category is the Inhuman Deeds category. So of course, for your farming team, you want to bring as many units from this category as possible to get the best drop rates, right? So we're going to pop over to the Inhuman Deeds page here to give you guys a quick look. So these are all the units in the category, but of course for legendary or a prime battle events, you can only use units that are uh, obtainable from drops in events, right? So anything that is a summonable unit cannot be used like, uh, you know, the new Broly, for example, or the Int Goku Black, uh, SDR Bojack, so on and so forth. So your options are actually pretty limited. And after taking a look through all of the available units here, the best team that I could come up with for farming the uh, LR Krillin event is something like the LR First Form Frieza as your leader. Uh, of course, Extreme Z Awakened, since he gives Extreme Class Key plus 4, HP Attack and Events plus 90%. And then we have the STR LR Goku Black from the 5th anniversary, ideally Extreme Z Awaken as well. And then there's Tech Lord Slug, there's the Fizz uh, Golden Frieza, Fizz Second Form Frieza, and finally the Int Final Form Frieza. So those are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 units right there. And of course for the friend, you can bring another uh, STR First Form Frieza. Now in terms of where you can get all these guys, obviously the Frieza is from the Prime Battle Frieza uh, event and this guy's from the uh, Zero Mortals Plan story event from the fifth anniversary. This guy's available from the Lord Slug story event. This guy's available from the Dragon Ball Super Broly story event. Uh, this guy's from the Namek Saga story event. And finally, this guy is from the Full Power Frieza Dokkan event. He drops from the first stage as a first form Frieza and eventually Dokkan awakens into this final form Frieza. So if you guys already have a good amount of these units, then you're probably good to go. But uh, if you need to farm a lot of them, then this process could take a lot longer. Obviously, you don't need to have a full Inhuman Deeds uh, team to farm the Krillin event. I mean, everybody that got him done before the Legendary Challenge campaign used some other random team like the Team Bardock or, you know, for to play Pure Saiyans and so on and so forth. So it's definitely possible to do it without using the boosted category. It's just, if there is one, you might as well take advantage of it to cut your farming time by a ton, like maybe 50%, 70%, something like that. Now, obviously the hardest unit to actually obtain here is the leader. As I'm sure a lot of you guys are aware, the process to Extreme Z Awaken LR First Form Frieza is absolutely insane. So. If you don't want to spend all the time to get him done, you do have some other options. Um, you know, for example, if you want to bring all these other guys, then you could use another free-to-play extreme class lead like the AGL Copy Vegeta from the, you know, Copy Vegeta story event. He gives extreme class key plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 40%. It's not ideal, but it is good enough to get through the event, or you could do you know, like a transformation boost team with this guy as the lead, or you can do a wicked bloodline team with this guy as the lead. At the end of the day, it's really up to you, but if you want to bring a full boosted team, a full inhuman deeds team, then these are the units 
that I would recommend people bring. Okay, so from there, once you have your farming team ready, you want to jump into the event, and there are three different levels. The first level is for farming copies of the SSR Krillin that eventually awakens into LR Krillin. The second level is where you farm his TUR medals. And the third level is where you are going to be spending most of your time farming his uh, LR Awakening medals. Okay, so the first step in the process is to jump into stage 1 with your farming team and farm at least 14 copies of the SSR Fizz Krillin. And the reason you need 14 is because 10 are for his super attack levels and then 4 are for the hidden potential system, right? So uh, yeah, start with the 14 copies of Krillin and then choose one to be your, I guess, main Krillin, the one that will awaken into LR status and lock him up. And then you want to feed 9 other copies of the SSR Krillin into that main Krillin to get him to super attack 10 and then Z awaken him into UR status and then head over to the hidden potential system and feed in the four other copies of Krillin to fully open up his hidden potential paths. Okay, so after you do that, you can actually just go ahead and rainbow him if you want to by giving him all the fizz orbs. Uh, unfortunately, he doesn't have his own, you know, like drop orbs like some other free to play units. That would have been nice. But uh, the good thing is that with the legendary challenge campaign, you do get all of those fizz orbs refunded to you. So yeah, get him to super attack 10, open up all his paths, give him all the orbs, and uh, from there, what you want to do is head over to stage 2 of the event where you can get the TUR medals, and you want to get 15 TUR medals to Dokkan Awaken your Krillin into UR status, and then after that, you just want to head over to uh, the third stage where you can farm the LR Awakening medals, and the reason I said that you know, this is where you're spending most of your time is because you need 777 LR Awakening Medals to get Krillin from his TUR status to his LR status, right? So basically just keep going through the event over and over and over again until you get 777 medals. And at that point, you can token awaken your Krillin from TUR to LR. And now you'll have a Super Attack 10 LR Krillin on your hands but obviously you want to get him to super attack 20 you want to max out his super attack levels and there are two different ways to do it the first way is quick and easy the second way is long and hard and uh, the choice or the method is ultimately up to you so of course the quick and easy way is to use elder kai's um, just use 10 elder kai's or grand kai's or sleepy kai's actually if you use sleepy kai's You'll probably need at least like 30 of them. But the point is, you can use Kai's to get him from Super Attack 10 to Super Attack 20 in like 30 seconds. Or you can do the long and hard way that saves Kai's and uh, farm a second copy of Krillin at Super Attack 10 to feed into your main Krillin to get him to Super Attack 20 for free. So in that case, you would want to farm 10 more copies of the SSR Krillin. You don't have to open up his hidden potential paths, or give him any orbs, just get him to super attack 10, and then get 15 more of the TUR medals to awaken him to TUR status, and then get 777 more of the LR medals to awaken him to LR status, and definitely don't train him to level 150, that would be a huge waste of training items, just get him to LR status, level 1, no paths open, and feed him into your main Krillin to get him to Super Attack 20 for free without Kai's and uh, at that point you will be completely done. So there you go guys, that is the entire process to farm, awaken, and rainbow the Fizz LR Krillin and uh, get all of the rewards for the Legendary Challenge campaign if you guys are watching this video around the time that's happening. And uh, let's just quickly go over to the challenge campaign page here so you guys can see all the rewards in case you guys missed my video from yesterday um, essentially if you can get the LR Krillin recruited essentially awakened to LR status before the challenge campaign starts you get 10 bonus dragon stones 3 outer kais and 2 reversal medals and then of course during the campaign you'll get 20 stones for recruiting the LR Krillin 7 elder kais for getting him to super attack 20 and then 
all the orbs you used to rainbow the Krillin refunded to you if you get him to 100% in the hidden potential system. So uh, that's pretty much it guys. Thank you so much for watching. Um, if you guys are wondering whether or not the Krillin is worth you know, the, the effort, the time, aside from the rewards, of course, from the Legendary Challenge campaign, um, he is absolutely worth it, 100%. I mean, if you don't know what he does, let me just quickly read it to you. Uh, his leader skill is Earthlings, Category Q plus 4, HP, Attack, and Defense plus 150%. His 12 key super raises attack and causes colossal damage to all enemies with a medium chance of stunning them. And his 18 key raises attack and defense and causes mega colossal damage. His passive is key plus 3 and defense plus 30,000. Attack plus 20,000 when performing a super attack, plus an additional attack plus 20,000 if it is an ultra super attack, plus an additional key plus 3 when facing only one enemy, and then attack plus 10,000 at the start of turn per existing enemy when facing two or more enemies, count starts from the second enemy, and launches an additional super attack when facing six or more enemies. So of course this guy is definitely, I think, made for events with multiple enemies like uh, Super Battle Road, um, World Tournament, so on and so forth, but he can still hold his own against single target stages since he does get extra key, since he does get extra attack for an ultra super, and he also stacks attack and defense with the 18 key super, so he's actually very good for longer events too. And uh, his links are Z Fighters, Turtle School, Courage, High Compatibility, Solid Support, Shattering the Limit, and Legendary Power. And his categories are Full Power, Earth Things, Battle of Wits, and Turtle School. So there you go, guys. That is LR Krillin for you. Good luck farming. Um, hopefully it doesn't take too long. I mean, with the boost category, it should only take you guys like, you know, maybe like three to four hours, maybe even less. I'm not really sure. But it took me about eight hours to get this guy done when he first dropped on Global. And... Uh, I would say it was worth it, you know, because he's awesome. So there you go, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully this guide helped some of you guys out there to, you know, get this guy done and get all the rewards from the Legendary Challenge campaign. Um, as always, if you liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now, and while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content, and that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time, hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out. <laughs>